All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our weekly webinar. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about everything you need to know about the APHR certification. My name is Brianna Grimes, and I'm the Senior HR Services Advisor here at Pay Entry, and I'm really excited to present to you today um, about the certification and answer any questions that you have. Uh, please remember that if you do have questions during the presentation, feel free to type them into the Q&A box that is available to you on the GoToWebinar site, um, and then we will answer those questions at the end of the presentation. Also, there should be a handout for you with a copy of the slides for this presentation so you can have those and use them as a resource, um, whether to take notes or just to take with you as a refresher uh, next time you want to take a look at the certification guidelines. All right, so today we are going to be talking about what exactly an APHR certification is through HRCI, the levels and the types of certifications available through HRCI, why you might want to become certified, what it looks like to prepare for the exam, as well as what it looks like to take the exam, and then after you've passed, what does it mean to maintain your certification? And then we will answer any questions that you may have at the very end of the presentation. Again, be sure to type those questions into the question box as we go along. So exactly what is a certification through HRCI? Well, HRCI is the Human Resources Certification Institute, and it's actually a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to certifying HR and talent management professions. They are a globally recognized organization with over 500,000 credentials awarded over their 40 year history. And there are eight total levels or types of HR certifications that you can get from this organization. Those levels can be broken into four main categories. The first are the associate professional certifications. There's the APHR, which is the Associate Professional in Human Resources, which is what we're going to be talking about in depth today. Then there is the APHRI, which is the Associate Professional in Human Resources International. The next level is the professional certifications, and these require a degree and a certain number of years working as a professional in HR in order to even take the exam for these tests or excuse me, for these certifications. These are the PHR, the PHRCA, and the PHRI. The PHRCA is a specific certification for California, and then the PHRI is for international. The third level is the senior professional certifications, which requires a degree as well as an additional, um, even more years of working as a professional in HR above and beyond the professional certification. And you also must work in uh, HR in a leadership capacity. So these are the SPHR and the SPHRI, and uh, there isn't a senior level for California HR. So there's just the general senior professional and the senior professional international. And finally, the last level is the global professional in HR, which is a level for global organizations. All right, so there are a lot of different certifications and levels um, that HRCI offers. So why do we think that you should work towards getting your APHR certification? Well, we're actually offering this certification to our clients because many of our clients are small companies that don't really have a dedicated HR staff on site. And additionally, that HR hat typically has to be worn by the payroll staff who may or may not have the knowledge depth of HR that they really need to wear that hat. Also, certifications like the APHR allow those with no HR background to begin a new career path, or if that's not what they want, just to at least add value to the position that they have now by being a little bit more well-rounded in that realm. And it also distinguishes you as a knowledgeable employee in the HR field. But aside from that, there are a lot of other benefits to receiving your certification. In fact, it really becomes a win-win for you and your company. Certifications provide you with greater employability by separating out your resume uh, from the candidate pool. It also validates that your knowledge is applicable to the field of HR. They make you a strategic and valuable partner in your organization, and it helps your company avoid risk and exposure for non-compliant practices and policies. So because certifications are so important to those wearing the HR hat, we at Pay Entry have started offering the APHR prep class for anyone interested in that certification. 
Now the APHR prep class is a live online instruction that is recorded for later viewing. It is a six week course that will meet every Tuesday from June 1st through July 6th, excuse me, June 8th through July 13th. And included in the price of your registration, you get a 400 page study guide, weekly Q and A's for each unit, 300 plus quick study flashcards, practice exams, online guides for successful exam prep, and unlimited access to the instructor for assistance. Also included in your registration fee is the exam fee. So what is the overall time commitment required of you to get your certification? Well, the class time is two hours per week for the six weeks, so 12 hours of total class time. Then you have some student prep to do outside of class. So you'll have to prep for your weekly class, including reading the assigned sections, and it's recommended that you read those sections twice, answering the section Q and A's, practicing with your flashcards, and practicing exams for a total of roughly five to seven hours per week outside of class. This means that your total time commitment would be approximately 42 to 54 hours over the six weeks for the certification prep. Now, as far as the structure of what this certification covers in terms of HR, the breakdown of the exam itself is 38% HR operations, 16% employee relations, 15% recruitment and selection, 14% compensation and benefits, 12% human resource development and retention, and then 5% health, safety, and security. When you actually take the exam, the exam is a timed exam for a total of two hours and 15 minutes. And in this time, you must complete 100 scored questions, which are mostly multiple choice, plus 25 pretest questions. Now, the HRCI is currently in the progress of revamping this test slightly, so these things might change. They may make the test a little longer, maybe a little shorter. Questions may vary. Um, but if they do, there will be notice provided to anyone registered for the exam once the test has been updated and the changes are finalized. Also, the exam is a computer-based exam, um, and it must be taken at a Pearson VUE testing center, so it will be done at a predetermined location. And once you complete the test, a pass-fail result is provided to you almost immediately. Um, and then, of course, you will receive a formal notification of your result from HRCI in the mail as well, um, but you will know within a couple minutes after completing your exam whether you passed or failed. Now, once you've received your certification, it is valid for three years after the date of your test. And in order to maintain your certification so you don't have to retake the test, you must earn 45 HRCI recertification credits over a three-year time span in order to renew your certification online. Um, essentially, you would earn these credits and then submit the details of each credit online. Um, and these credits can be earned in a number of ways, including things like webinars, seminars, expos, cons, trainings, anything that has to do um, inside of that HR realm that has been pre-approved by HRCI. All right, so I know that was quite a bit of information and a very brief overview of the APHR um, in terms of what we are offering and why it is important. Um, so if you did not get a chance to do so, feel free to take this time um, to ask any questions in the Q&A box. Um, just as a reminder, while people are getting their questions submitted, the presentation was recorded today and it will be available to watch again if you need a refresher. Um, you can visit our website and visit our webinars tab under webinar recordings and all of our webinars are recorded and posted online. So I have Kathy on uh, the webinar with me today to help me answer some questions. Kathy, are you there? I am here. Okay, fantastic. What questions do we have today? Okay, would you be training only for the PHR level or can we get trained for SPHR or GPHR? Um, so for this prep exam that we are offering, it is actually only for the APHR. It's geared more at the associate level for um, people who are part of our client group who may not have a background in HR but want a little bit more information in HR to help their organization. So at this time, we don't offer any prep classes for the PHR or the SPHR. And there are a lot of online trainings for those other levels um, 
that you can access um, by going online. Um, but we chose the APHR level because number one, you don't have to have um, any HR experience. You don't have to have anything more than a high school degree. So we have a lot of people that um, in our client base that maybe have been in payroll for years and want to do something different or want to learn something different. And maybe they, they haven't been in HR. So this gives you an opportunity to do that. But right now we've decided only to focus on that, that level. Okay, the next question, how do you find a testing center? Um, so once you are ready to take your exam, you can actually go on hrci.com and you actually have to schedule your exam with them. Um, and then when you are in the process of scheduling your exam, you'll type in your zip code and they will give you options of the testing facilities near you. Um, and then you choose one, you select a date and a time and you will be scheduled for that, that exam date. And that's all of our questions today. All right. Well, thank you guys all for the questions. Those are some really great questions. If you are interested um, either in getting your APHR certification or you have more questions on the prep course that we are offering through Pay Entry, feel free to email either myself or Kathy. There's also a link at the bottom of this slide um, that has the link to the hrci.org where it specifically talks about their certification. So that is a great resource for y'all. Um, and then my contact information is at the bottom of this slide. There's Next one more week. question. Oh, okay. There's one Go more question. It. What if there isn't a testing site near me? Um, if there's not a testing site near me, it depends on if you live, like if you live in a really small town and you're kind of away from a larger city, um, or maybe your city doesn't have a testing facility, um, you may have to travel for your, to take your test. Um, I've known a couple of my colleagues that live in really, really small remote cities. Um, and so they actually had to drive about two hours to the nearest major city in order to take their test. Um, so that is something you may uh, need to do when you're scheduling exam. If there's none in your immediate area, you may just need to choose a zip code of the next major city near you um, and see if there are any there and then possibly plan uh, a little day trip to take your test. Um, someone wants to know how much does the class cost? That's a Kathy question. <laughs> oh, I better pull that up. I haven't looked at that in a little while. Let me just pull that up right now. We do have this on our website, um, but hang on a second. I, I think I know, but I don't want to misquote. Um, Sorry to put you on the spot. I don't know that one. Okay. <laughs> you handle all the registrations. Uh, yeah, handle the registration. You would think I would know that. Um, let's just see here. June of 2021. Okay, numbers are hard to remember, so I'd yeah, rather you look are. it up anyway. I think <laughs> that is um, one second here. On the tip of my fingertips here. It is $1,350, and it does include the uh, all of the study materials that come from HRCP, which is um, the uh, group that supplies materials for the exam, and it does uh, cover the price of the exam also. We go ahead and pay for, for that up front. Uh, we do offer a credit card. Um, option. There's a very small fee that goes along with that. So um, if you need to, to use a credit card to do it, it is available. Perfect. And I would ask your employer to cover it too. I mean, if you don't have tuition reimbursement, it is something that will enhance your career and your position where you are currently. And sometimes companies will pay for uh, the class for employees. Yeah, that's definitely a really good point. Asking your employer to help with the cost either covering all of it or covering half it's always good to ask i mean the worst they could say is no um, right. but you know if it's free money definitely don't want to leave that on the table because the certification can do you a lot of good um, whether you're staying with your employer forever or you know you decide to leave your employer and look elsewhere um, it does enhance your resume so it's always good to have those types of certifications and if they're willing to assist you um, in order to bring more benefit to their organization while you work there definitely it's worth the ask and I think that's it. 
Awesome. Well, again, thanks for those extra questions, guys. Those were great. Feel free to join us next week. Kathy is actually going to be presenting on ACA and covering the basics. Feels like we just finished ACA, but we're halfway through 2021 almost. June is right around the corner. Um, and that means that ACA filing is going to start in, you know, what is that, four or five more months when we start visiting oh, in October, yes. November. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's good to go over that ACA stuff now and get that set up so at year end you're not stressing. So Kathy's going to go over all of that and give you guys some great information. Um, we look forward to seeing you guys all next week. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Brianna.